Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today it's another grocery discovery. I know many of you are saying, Annette, you tell us something new every week that we must have in our diet every week and it can be overwhelming. Well, today I'm going to add another one to that list and today is about green tomatoes. And I'm going to take you back to my kitchen to show you two ways to serve this up today. And it is not about fried green tomatoes. I am not from the South and that is not something I grew up on. And I don't want you eating fried green tomatoes because I have a better recipe for you that you can make super easy and you can enjoy it tonight. First of all, let me just say thank you for letting me share with you God's recipe for excellent health. And that includes three ingredients, helping you be confident in the kitchen, which is why we're gonna go back to my home as soon as I get done here in the store, confident with your health. And that's what these foods are all about. They're about creating the health that you deserve, you were created to enjoy because we're made in His image. And most importantly, uh, confident and understanding how much God loves you. He loves you with an amazing love. He's loved you with an everlasting love and from the moment of conception. I am Annette Reader and it is always my joy to bring this video to you. So hey, let's go check out these green tomatoes. And if you haven't been to Tom Leonard's, I highly recommend checking it out if you're in the Richmond area. And sure enough, the sign says welcome. Okay, so here you can see we have the green tomatoes. These are actually the Hanover green tomatoes. Hanover tomatoes are very popular here in the Richmond area and because of the county of Hanover where they're grown. They're actually in canned tomatoes all across the country. So if you've seen the word Hanover, you can know this is where it comes from. So the first question I wanna answer is, is a green tomato just an unripe red tomato or is it its own variety? The answer is both. You can actually grow heirloom green tomatoes. Now some of these here, you can see that they've actually gone on to become red. So these are more of an unripe red tomato, but they can definitely still work as a green tomato. So if you're growing tomatoes on your own in your own home, definitely buy the green heirloom tomatoes or the tomatillas, and that would be good. So the difference is how it feels. You can have a green tomato that feels soft, or you can have a green tomato that feels firm. These are just a little bit in between, so they're perfect. Many of your green tomatoes will also have stripes. And so you can kind of see most of these do not have the stripes, but yet you can kind of see how the green is starting to transition. And so for our recipes today, I'm actually gonna get a combination of all of the colors because it's gonna to totally brighten up the recipe that we're gonna make. We're gonna make salsa verde. We're gonna make it two different ways. And so these would be really good. Now let's talk about health benefits. Now when it comes to health benefits, we are definitely gonna get the vitamin A. Many times you think of vitamin A which, which converts to beta carotene, we think about this because of the red, the reds and the oranges and yellows. Yes, that's very true. But we also get vitamin A from green tomatoes. So maybe not as much, but it's still a good quality. So vitamin A is very important for your immune system. It's important for your health. It's important so that you can, your body can convert it when it needs it. And that's the value of what God gives us. When we take a pill, it can only work at that time. God's foods go in and build our system and they protect it. Now, not only vitamin A, we're also gonna get vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is really good for almost everything. Vitamin C helps you to make collagen. It helps you have beautiful skin. It helps you to be uh, have a strong heart to prevent against heart attacks. A vitamin C is also very protective against cancers. So you definitely want some vitamin C in your diet. Now, vitamin C helps iron to be absorbed. So if you were to serve these tomatoes next to your beans, lentils, and legumes, then your body would be able to get the iron out of those foods because iron needs vitamin C to transport the iron into your body. So you may think, well, I'm, I'm doing everything I need to. I'm eating all the iron-rich foods, but my iron count is not going up. You need vitamin C along with it. So serve some vitamin C with your iron next time. Now, not only that, we also get high fiber and high water. Now, water is important too because if you got high fiber and high hydration, you're going to have a lot less constipation in your house. And we all know that that makes for a more smoother transition throughout our day. And lastly, I want to share with you is the vitamin K. K is in kite. K is in kale. 
Well, vitamin K is also in these green tomatoes. So what that means is vitamin K is not an enemy. Many people think, oh, I can't have vitamin K because of my blood clotting factor. No, vitamin K helps your body to normalize your blood clotting. You don't want to get cut and then bleed out. Neither do you want to have a blood clot that can end your life. So vitamin K helps to normalize it's like adapt adaptogenic, bring you up if you need more clotting factor, bring you down if you have too much clotting factor, which is why if you're put on a prescription and then they say no more vitamin K in your food, that's wrong. You actually need to work with your doctor and say, no, I'm going to eat God's foods and then I want you to adjust the medication to be only what I need along with eating these foods. And you can so do that, but find a doctor who's willing to work with you. Otherwise, you're eliminating healthy foods that you need. So God's vitamin K normalizes, and that's important. Now, I need to go check out and buy these so we can go home and make the salsa verde today so you can enjoy it tonight. So today we're gonna make some salsa verde. I've already chopped up my tomatoes. We used basically six tomatoes, and to that we're gonna add peppers. And I bought just a variety of different peppers. I'm gonna use half of this that I've cut up because I have enough for two batches. To this, we're going to add some onions. So I need anywhere from one to two cups of onions, depending on your preference for onions. So I have those all diced up as well. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of cumin. To this, we're also going to add a half a cup of lime juice. And we're going to add some garlic. Now I really just kind of finely chopped them. I haven't really minced them like I normally do. And then we're going to add some fresh cilantro. I have about a half a cup of freshly chopped cilantro. And two more ingredients would be our salt and pepper. So I have two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of pepper. So I'm just going to take this over to the stove and we're going to cook it for about 10 minutes just to let those flavors kind of marinate and to blend with each other. And then we're going to process it in a water bath canning jars. I went ahead and did the water bath canning. Now, if you're not familiar with how to do that, basically you want two inches of water above the level of your jars. And so you can put usually seven of these pint jars in the canner at one time, then you would process it according to the book. And I highly recommend the ball canning book because it just tells you everything you need to know. You don't need any of the latest, greatest books. Canning is just canning. And water bath canning is, I would say, the easiest simplest and just it's just a fun way of can so these jars have all i've taken them out and all of their lids have popped so they're good now you can tell i'm going to have to label this as salsa verde because it doesn't look green <laughs> i use so many reds and yellows with the peppers and even some of the tomatoes are red that and in the heat of the cooking, even my green tomatoes turned a little bit of a light color. So I'll label it salsa verde, and these are ready to be stored for years to enjoy. The second version I'm gonna make is so much quicker, and I am taking this to our Shabbat meal tonight. So I went ahead and picked up all the green tomatoes out of my garden. So you can see a lot of them are the cherry tomatoes. And I picked a few of the red and some that are just starting to turn. I'm going to roast these in my air fryer at 500 for about 10 minutes. I'm using my air fryer because it just heats up immediately and I don't have to wait for my oven to heat up. And this is just gonna go so much quicker. So 500 degrees for 10 minutes and then we're gonna throw it in the blender and go on to our next step. Here's my first tray out of the air fryer, the smart oven, and it just looks delicious. I love roasted tomatoes. So now I'm gonna do another tray and I'm also going to put on the peppers that I have. So I have some of these peppers from the store that I bought and then I have some more of my tomatoes. And then once I do this next tray for 10 minutes, we'll be ready to blend. Now that I blended those, I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions that we chopped up. I'm going to add salt and pepper. So about, depending on how much you put in, could be one teaspoon of salt or even a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm gonna add, normally you would use cilantro, but my garden has a lot of oregano and basil. So I'm gonna use that. To this, I'm going to add the lime that we juiced. And then finally, our garlic. Now that I was able to get the garlic out of the bowl, I added that and here we go.
Well, I hope you can see how simple this was to mix up. And now all we have to do is just pour it in our dish and it is going to taste so delicious. Tonight is Friday night. And so on Friday nights, we have a monthly Shabbat. So I'm gonna be taking this platter with me to the Shabbat and just letting everyone enjoy it. Not quite as green as some of the ones you buy in the store, but that's because I added too many yellows and reds. If you just have green peppers and green tomatoes, it's gonna to look very green and people will recognize, oh, salsa verde. <laughs> so definitely now you know the difference between salsa and salsa verde it's all about the green tomatoes or tomatillas whatever you're using so i hope you enjoy this i hope you really start to enjoy god's recipe for excellent health there are many numerous doctors out there on the internet and they're very knowledgeable yet when you take what they're saying and you break it down to what really works it's always going to be god's foods god's foods are going to build the body that god created it makes sense so whatever you're studying whoever you're learning from always take it back to the three principles eat the foods that god called good eat the foods as close to the way he designed it and then don't let any food become an addiction and all three of those principles can be simple or they can be difficult depending on how much uh, into food you are and how much you've been letting food control you. So I'm here as your biblical nutritionist to help set you free from those addictions and to enjoy the life God's given you. And always remember above everything else, God's recipe for excellent health includes the number one ingredient is that God loves you.